Ciao a tutti, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make Savoyardi, or as you may know them, Ladyfingers. This is what a store-bought Ladyfinger usually looks like. It's thin, too sweet, dry and not that interesting really. Let's see how it's done. You're going to need 6 egg yolks at room temperature, 5 egg whites also at room temperature, 100 grams of sugar for the yolks and 85 grams of sugar for the egg whites, 150 grams of flour and finally 65 grams of cornstarch. First we are going to make what we call a ruban, which is whisking the yolks and the sugar until fluffy and tripled in size. Savoyardi are a light cookie, so we want to incorporate as much air as we can. To see if the mixture is ready, lift some of it on the back of your spoon or spatula and if you have a slow peak forming, it's ready. Next up, a firm meringue. Like the yolks, we want to incorporate air in this fluffy cookie. Beat the egg whites until firm, like this. Now gradually add your sugar until you obtain a firm and glossy consistency. You just learn how to make French meringue. To test if the meringue is done, just turn your bowl upside down and if it doesn't fall, it's ready. Next step is sifting the flour and cornstarch, again for an airy mixture. I am repeating myself but it's very important. Now for the fun part, mixing all our ingredients together. With the help of a spatula, add the meringue and the flour to the yolks in three times. And only once the previous parts are fully incorporated. You have to fold the mixture from the bottom and upward. Use your other hand to turn the bowl in the opposite direction of the spatula. The final mixture should look like this. Transfer the mixture in a piping bag with a plain tip. Preheat the oven at 230 degrees Celsius. On a baking tray lined with silicone mat or a parchment paper, pipe your Savoyardi in their classic shape, spacing them as they will puff up in the oven. Before you put them in the oven, dust generously with 50 grams of powdered sugar. This will create a barrier for the steam coming out of the ladyfingers and also have an aesthetic effect once they are ready. Bake for 9 minutes and here's a little trick. Use some aluminum foil to block your oven door and let the steam come out a little bit. Look how beautiful they are! To avoid a soggy savoyardo, transfer them on a rack to cool down and harden just a little bit as soon as they come out of the oven. Let's compare the ladyfingers from before and the cookies we just made. The biggest difference is the size, of course, but also is the texture. As said before, the store-bought is tough and dry, whereas the homemade are fluffy and soft, perfect for soaking in your coffee or tea. To keep them fresh longer, keep them in a metal box. And buon appetito! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe for more regional Italian recipes. Before you leave, Here's a short blooper of this video. Ciao e alla prossima ricetta!